Welcome to the Devolution, a show to empower, enlighten, and entertain it does not and end those well. that love us. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that was the end of it. Yes. How long have you been using that thing? I had uh, too long. I need to on? change it. Yes, it is. I can't hear. Oh, there we go. All right. Oh, maybe because your headphones aren't up very loud. Yeah, turn them things up. I'm deaf. There. Oh, look at that. I can How's hear that? myself now. Good, good. That's what you've been using for how long now? For since it crashed. Deb, are you embarrassed by that? Yes, I am. You should be. That's terrible. I always apologize the first thing on the show. Oh my goodness. So uh, let me tell you a little bit about tonight. It's our end of the fourth year for the devolution show so that means four years ago we were doing the devolution show on last choice country Uh and it's three years for w4 divas already really yeah and without and look you, at all the money you've made. Since I then. know. Like you're living in a new mansion, right? Right on the water. Driving new cars. Yes, a convertible. No, I've adopted less. a family from Zimbabwe. <laughs> Is that true? No, no. There's no money there, right? No, not yet. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Hey, but you know what? I'm paying the bills. Really? Yeah. That's a good start. It is. So um, I want to welcome Josh Shero, the man that I couldn't have done this without. Does that sound kind of bad? You know, any I couldn't have done it without you. I tell you this that I've never been judged by this many women in one room in my whole this, life. This like I feel like they're all looking at me, and it's scary. You know, the sh- behind every you know that saying behind every good man there's a good woman this is the opposite seven judgmental women behind me right now staring me down no this is a judgment free zone is it really good divas do not judge i don't know if it i don't think it sounds bad no i mean like uh uh but anymore with all the stuff that's going on well you've never grabbed my butt that's probably not true (laughs) is it is it true i i mean i'm afraid to think about it now because it could come back Uh, and you could Exactly. Don't don't bring it I up. I think now. you may have made a few innuendos, but it was on Last Choice Country, and that's all behind us now. Yeah. S- so Nothing to speak. Behind us. <laughs> so to speak. The peanut gallery back here has jokes too. It's incredible. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Too bad we don't have a picture of them, huh? <laughs> you may have to turn around and take one. So let's talk about that very beginning. Let's talk about. Let's talk about how we met. <laughs> it's so funny. Well, I was at Castaways, and the waitress said, "There's two crazy ladies over there that want to talk to you." <laughs> and I said, um, "Okay." And then, uh, you but know, from my side, I gave her my card, and I she said, "You need to talk to Josh Shero." And it was like the third person that had told me that. And then you guys walked in, and she came over and said, "You're not going to believe who just walked in." Yeah. So what what did you think that first meeting? You thought I was nuts, oh, didn't you? Oh, I still think you're nuts. Oh, you do? Yeah, I do, actually. Oh, I thought maybe but that no, dissipated I, a I little. I completely, um, well, your first impressions are, are um, I mean, I believe they're normally true, don't you? Do you believe that your first impression of somebody is normally yes. correct? So Yeah, but you yeah, were, I yours incor- weren't very good of I me. I was incorrect that time because I thought. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I was, not a, I was not a Deb St. Hilaire fan and that no. day. And you could tell, you I could? don't want to have a meeting about a meeting. Well, well is, let's just have a meeting then, I said. That is something, though, that <laughs> I'm still like that today. Like, I do not want to sit through a meeting that could no. have just been a phone call. Right. So, yeah. That's or a text. I text you usually. But, I mean, we're talking about... Four two, years ago. So, 2013, right? Yes. 2013. And you said to me, I want to start this uh, internet radio station, and it's all about women... And, you know, up until then, I hadn't been introduced to what this was all about. And you said you were divas. And I'm like, oh, my God, God. this isn't going to be worth it. This is, there's not enough money in the world for me to work with a bunch of divas, right? <laughs> and then... Um, and yeah, then, and the look on your face said it all. Really. It, just, it just worked out. And it was, it was fine. And, I mean, I had been doing uh, internet radio since 2010. And, and uh, you know, in 2010, there wasn't 
there wasn't a, a, a play-by-play book of how to do this. Right. There wasn't anybody that knew how to do it. I mean, it was like we figured it out on our own, and I spent till 2 o'clock in the morning trying to figure this stuff out on my own, and there was nobody to call, and nobody knew how to listen to Internet radio yet. It wasn't a thing. Right. How do you listen? Well, you, you go to the website, and you just hit play. I mean, it, it was like trying to talk your grandma into how to text message. Exactly. They couldn't figure it out. Right. There was no way to figure it out. So the fact that you've done it this long, though, I mean, 2015 we stopped – Last Choice Country. I had about a year and a half stint with uh, Johnny and Blondie in your old studio. Right. Um, doing and your radio. old studio. And even even today, I still think we're ahead of the time as far as internet radio is concerned. I still think that years down the road, you're not going to have cars that are... I mean, even now, today's cars come and, and you can hook your phone up to right. it, right? You, there's internet in cars now. 2010, you, no. you really weren't listening to no. phones in your car yet. You and people to... kept saying, when I was trying to get sponsors, they kept saying, if only you were in Michigan when I was on that other network. Yeah. Well, I'm in Michigan. Right. But they didn't get it, yeah. Well, it's just about um, having a, a local feel. Right. right? And doing things in your community that are local and helping local things in the community and, and being involved, that's going to set you apart from... You, you're never going to conquer the world, right? You've got to conquer your hometown before you conquer the world. Right, so, right. Um, and, and there's still a lot of conquering to be done in the yes, hometown. right. You're right. Right. And so there were so many things that I went through that I probably would have quit had it not been for you. Like what? Tell me. Like, like when partnerships dissolved all... And I still say this to myself every now and then, the famous, the infamous words of Josh Sherrow ring in my ears to this day. If you were just doing this by yourself, would you still be doing it? Yeah. And I said, yes. And you said, then just keep doing it. Yeah. It's not going to be as important to anybody else as it is to you. Yeah, nobody cares as much as you do, but par- business partners are terrible. Yeah, I'll never do it again. They're awful. You know, well, but you don't. You have to learn. You learn. I guess I would not have learned that lesson had I not done it. Right. I would have always wondered. Well, and this is not. Uh, th- there's no. There's no textbook to figure out how yeah. to do this and how to make it. There are a lot of people that have have internet radio shows and internet podcasts, but you know, f- figure out how to make money with it. That's right. that's the biggest thing. And there's no. There's no book. You can't just say like internet radio making money for dummies. It doesn't there, exist. No, no, there isn't. And you taught me over and over and over again how to do the stuff on using this software. Yeah, there, and was, there was years that, you know, <laughs> it, it might have almost ended for both of us. But yes. You got it now. Deborah. You'd say Deborah. The worst part about it is, is that I've never seen somebody write so much stuff down and then never know where the notes are when they actually need it. <laughs> it's the most bizarre thing I've ever seen in my life. She writes down every single step. On how to get dressed in the morning, but doesn't know where she puts the paper to actually figure it out. You wrote it all down last time. Uh, I don't. I don't know where it is. And I bet I could find it if I really looked. You but think? would I understand it? Probably not. No. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so so there we met at Castaways. Is this what the whole show is about? Is it just me? Are we? No, we're gonna get to them. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> we're gonna get to them. <laughs> I'm not giving up my seat. So no, you don't have to. That's why that mic's right there. Okay. All right, so okay. yeah, so we so, started. So then I was, you let me be on Last Choice Country. Yeah, that was after after one of my business partners uh, kind of went off on their own, and I still had, you know, this this radio thing or internet radio, it, it's a passion, right? And if you're in it to make a million dollars, you're wrong because right. there's very few people that are going to do that. So it's a passion, but it can be done. It, yeah, yeah, maybe. I mean, I've kind of gotten to the point now where I I I, I don't know if I believe that a hundred percent, right? But it's it's a passion. Number one, right? Number two is the money, right? So number one is, is right. the passion for right. entertaining people and talking to people, and and um, that's what sucks you in every time. Yeah, and and you and I actually did a show for a while. Remember, I didn't. I know found anything old. About... I found old clips of that where we called my mom and asked her a bunch <laughs> of Detroit Tiger questions, and she hung up on me. <laughs> I found that clip the other day, as a matter of fact. Yeah, and and one time you sent me down to the animal shelter to read to cats. To read to cats, and at the they animal listened. Shelter. Yeah, of they, course didn't. they did. <laughs> she hadn't been allowed to the animal shelter again, but yeah, <laughs> they like it was this, the greatest sound cross. ever too on the air because wow in the background and, <laughs> and they were crawling on me and stuff. It was so funny. And then you're like afterwards, you tell me that you're allergic to cats yeah, and you yeah. like, couldn't see or breathe for three days. And afterwards. I was sneezing and scratch. I didn't know I was allergic to cats. It was the conglomeration of that many in one place that did it. 
Really? There were a lot of cats there, and they all seemed to like me. <laughs> well, they were, you were reading to them. I was out of devolution. I, I was reading. You were reading it. your book, right? Yes, yeah, that's yes. right. I forgot about that. that yeah. I had several of them ask me for signed copies did while you? I was there that day, yes. So then you and I did a show in the morning called Mornings with Josh and Deb or something like yeah. that. And that was really fun. We had fun doing that. Yeah. And I bet we did that for what, four or five months? Yeah, I think so. It's just a matter of, um, you, you know, and even if you go back to that time, how do you secure advertisers? How do you do all that stuff yeah. when people can't listen and there's no sales force and you were doing the devolution and I was, I don't remember what I was doing. I think I was stripping on the side or something, but uh, there's there's nobody yeah, to Yeah, you used to come in with dollar bills stuck all over What do they call you? them? There's one that's like a, a, a UP delight and then the other one goes over your nipple. What is that, a pasty? I, I don't know. Is it know. a pasty or a pasty? I, I, what is it? A pasty? Pasties, yeah. I think pasty, pasty, pasties, pasties are what you, are what you, eat. you pasties, eat up north. Yes. Yeah, I always yeah. get confused. I'm glad there was women I'm, behind me to I'm tell me which one was, was which. I'm glad it was explained to you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, um, so from there, you taught me how to do this, and you actually were the produ- producer for, gosh, the first a couple of years probably. At least the first two years. Yeah. And then you would still be, even if you weren't there, I would have you on standby in case I... Things went horribly right. wrong. Yeah. Right. Because it was hard to focus on talking and running everything. It's hard to focus in here. How do you do it this? It is. There's women talking. I just, People are having their own conversation. Yep. Goodbye, Devolution Project's leaving. Do you know about the Devolution Project, Josh? Tell me about it. The Devolution Project, we're just divas doing good, and we just did a toilet paper drive for, for um, the Women's Center here in Bay City. A toilet paper drive? A toilet paper drive. I asked them what they needed, and they said, oddly enough, toilet paper. So, toilet paper we got. Really? Yep, and we also sponsored a family for Christmas, and next we have We've Got You Covered. We're going to do socks and blankets for the needy. Wow. That's starting in January. Well, that's nice. Thank you. We're just divas doing good. Right. But we meet. Toilet paper drive, though, huh? Yeah. Did you just stood out on the corner and asked for toilet paper? Yeah. Or did you just had no, people, drop people it off? brought us toilet paper. Okay. Silly. How was I to know? I didn't I, we know. went to every restaurant in town with just bags took and just paper? took their toilet paper. That's nice. Office buildings. I'm surprised you didn't notice yours gone. <sighs> <laughs> you know, I have an office building with uh, with eleven tenants, and out of that eleven tenants, nine of them are women. And I go through a lot of toilet paper. Don't you yes. worry. I got yeah, paper towels. Paper How many towels paper towels too. does it take for a woman to dry their hands? By the way, it depends on like the quality of the paper towels. Four hundred pieces of paper towel a month, I think. That's low. Yeah, that's low. Okay. Doesn't seem. I think it depends on. Um, on the person, some person you, some people use more, and men too. Some men use more paper towels than others. Oh, good. How dry do you like your hands? Is what it comes down to. You know the other thing, and I, this has nothing to do with what we're talking about. But I, I read somewhere that you're not supposed to use like the automatic dryers at, at like restaurants and gas stations. That they like have more germs Why? in them than just using. Really, like, that kind of surprises. me. I don't me. know if that's true or not. But, I heard that too. Yeah, you're not supposed to do it. Like, because your water your splashes back up in there or something, and then it sits. And, like, how many times do you oh, go clean the automatic like the moldy dryer? kind of stuff. Yeah, no, I don't know. It grosses me out when I think about it, though. So what you should use the paper towel. Just use a paper towel or just... Ooh, I'll never use one of those again. That's gross. Yeah. That's what I bring. That's what I bring you to bring the table closeness. here today. So, so when we were doing our morning show, I knew nothing about country music. Yeah. Well, what did you learn? I learned so much. I learned that I, I didn't mind it, for one thing. Didn't mind it. And, uh, except for a pop top, flip flop, yeah, that was awful. nose drop, whatever. Right. That was terrible. But I was a pretty good judge of that music, though. And cotton dresses. Cotton dresses all over the place. Everybody wore cotton dress in country music. Yeah. Barefoot and cotton. The most important thing that trucks. ever happened out of that whole show, though, was that we figured out about putting butter on a Pop Tart. Yeah. <laughs> that really was the biggest deal ever. <laughs> And if you've never put butter on a pop tart, you're wrong. Who's who suggested delicious. that? We tried it, and it was delicious. It was all it? right. What do you mean it was all right? It was okay. I wasn't near as impressed as you were. Friggin' delicious. You were the butter pop tart guy. Yeah, there's a song on YouTube about butter pop tarts. You ever put butter that's on a pop-tart. why. Oh yeah, that's right. From now Family I remember. Guy. 
Yes. So. So where are we at in our timeline? 